back again. Fucking uh, <laughs> no car talk today. God damn it. Back in the basement gym. Uh, so if you missed the last basement lift, it was just a back day. So just tons of barbell rows and uh, some cable stuff. So let's uh, let me just break it down. So barbell rack, or I guess squat rack, whatever. Uh, about 300 pounds worth of uh, free weights. And then a little overhead cable. And then to my right, I got like just dumbbells up to, you know, 50. So today for biceps, it's going to be mainly curls. So I won't be going so heavy. But I'd, you can build some big ass biceps with 50s. Come on, let's be real. So usually I never show the warm up just because, you know, it kind of takes a little bit of, a little bit of extra time. But since there's no car talk, you know, I've got a little, little more room to spare. So pre, uh, so for me, arm day, it always starts with triceps, uh, for, kind of for two reasons. I think I remember watching some kind of old training video where Jay Cutler said he liked doing tries first, but then, you know, a little bit more of just as a preference, I'd rather finish arm day with a bicep pump, you know? So when I fucking see what I did at the end, biceps are really fucking huge because, you know, having a tricep pump is cool. But, you know, just that peak of the biceps, that's really what I kind of want to see at the end. So, to warm up for pushdowns, which is pretty much all I'm going to do uh, for this lift, I'll usually just start off kind of single arm, cable pushdowns, you know. Not really working sets or anything. Just kind of making sure I don't have uh, some kind of twinge in my elbow or something. And even if I did, like, uh, I'm sure everybody knows what it feels like when your elbow, just way back here, is like just fucking hurting you when you're doing pushdowns. Uh, for me, like, I get sore there too. Not like super bad or anything, but you know, some days are, some days you just kind of feel off a little. But whenever I start off with these single arm pushdowns, or really just any kind of light pushdowns as like a little bit of activation before you actually get into your real working sets, it always just makes me feel way more comfortable. And I pretty much do that for every body part. Like legs, before I get into heavy squats, I always start with uh, like light-ish leg extensions just to get some blood flow in the area. But, eh, you know, I think people sort of... Mm, I don't know. I think people usually do warm up, but it's kind of integrated in the lift, right? Like when they get on their first movement... Like, let's say I was just a normal Joe and I was about to start off my arm day with tricep pushdowns, right? I think people usually, maybe they do a little bit of a warm-up, like get their shoulders moving around, whatever. But typically, they'll just do one set in the beginning with a light weight, and they'll call that a working set. And then they'll go a little heavier, and then they'll go a little heavier, heavier, heavier. Whereas for me, I'd rather get nice and warmed up, real fresh, exposed to the weight, and start that first set off you know, as heavy as I can go, you know, it almost, it just doesn't really make sense to me to start off with, you know, whatever weight and then do sets that progressively increase, right? Cause you got to think when you're working out, you should be getting more and more fatigued, at least in the specific muscle you're training over the lift. So when you're freshest, move the most weights you can. And as you get weaker, you know, you can use less weight, focus more on like squeezing for the pump and shit. So I'm going to keep warming up. Uh, I'll probably just skip ahead to the first working set. But I'm uh, going to start off with just uh, W bar pushdowns. No drop sets, no nothing, just really heavy. So let's fucking get started, God damn it. But, uh, got about 170, well not about, I got 175 loaded up. So this would be the same as, uh, like if you've ever tried like an old school pushdown machine, where there's no kind of pulley action, it's just a one to one, like a lat pull down. All right, this would be 175, which that shit's fucking heavy. <laughs> so, probably, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe five or six sets of this. I'll have to see how it feels. But this is going to be the majority of uh, the heavy sets. Because, I mean, you got to think, <laughs> not much else to do down here. But this is still going to be super effective. So, let's see how many reps I can get. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
back. Whew. All right, a couple more of those. Fuck. Whew. So I do notice when I go really heavy on these. I kind of lean to one side because you got to think the cable is right in front of my fucking face. So if you're really loading up a lot of weight, it's almost going to be impossible if you're got yeah, a really upright position. Like, I feel like I want to get on top of it. Whether or not that's leading to some kind of muscular imbalance, I don't think so. I mean, I'm feeling the same amount of work on either side, but <sighs> who knows? Let's just focus on getting four more hard sets here A little bit tricky to do a drop set with this compared to like a normal push down stack. Oh, fuck. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what I want to do next. I'll think about it for a minute while I put some of these weights away. I haven't done these in years. So this will be, um, oh, where well you grab one dumbbell at a time, single arm, put it over your head. You kind of go behind the, behind your neck in a way. I just tried it out. It still feels pretty good. Honestly, I thought I was um I thought I was too tight in my shoulders to uh you know to even reach back that high or that far or whatever. But yeah, it feels good. So maybe I will I'll see how it feels for a legit set. Uh if I like it, I'll do a few more. And if I don't really love it, then I'll move on to something else that I think will uh you know feel a little bit better. Let me work well not work harder per se, but like, let's say this movement, I don't feel much activation. I don't really feel like I'm getting a good squeeze or, you know, whatever. Then typically that's telling me, all right, this movement is just not for you right now. You know, do something else where you can get a really good squeeze and you can, uh, you know, load up a little more weight. Cause I mean, it, like I can have a favorite exercise. I can like right now, I love doing an incline barbell bench to start off my chest days. But I've gone through periods of time where like, it just felt like shit. Like my wrists were feeling weird or my forearms and shoulders. You know, sometimes shit's just gonna come in and out of, uh, you know, your preference range. So, enough of that. Let's throw around, uh, I think the 45. 45 should feel good. Oh, fuck. Oh. 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 Uh, one more. So if you'll notice, that right arm for 13 or 14 reps, whatever, I reached like legit failure. I can't really do much more. But the left one, I was getting the reps straight up. So for me, my right tricep is lacking a little bit compared to the, no, no. Yeah, the right one's lacking compared to the left one. So on single arm movements, I'll start with the weaker arm and then match the reps on the stronger arm. So the idea would be that the, the weaker one's getting a little bit more stimulation and it'll start to catch up to the stronger one. 
Holy fuck. Oh, fuck. That was a really good stretch. Like, doing anything overhead like that, I think you should definitely have that in your, um, your tricep routine. I've been slacking on that. If you've watched all these videos, you know I've been doing mainly just pushdowns. And I think my triceps have been lacking. Like, just a little. Obviously, they're pretty big. But I think they could benefit from more of that overhead stuff where you get a really good stretch on, uh, like, the long head, the big part. <sighs> but that'll be enough of that for this lift. I'm just going to finish off with two sets of single arm pushdowns. Uh, weight not insane. That's just 25 pounds. But... I'll be able to get a really good squeeze. That's one thing too. So, okay, first, triceps pump the fuck. But with this setup, if you, <laughs> once the weight starts swinging around, uh, it's hard to stop it. You almost have to just set it down on the ground, you know, jiggle it a little and then keep going. But yeah, I mean, fuck, triceps are pumped. Let's start curling. Let's start, I lied. I don't want to curl the 50s. I've got these scrappy uh, screw-on dumbbells which, uh, <laughs> real old school, kind of rinky-dink. But they're probably uh, maybe 65 pounds. Because you got to think, so like, this whole thing comes apart, like that screws, it's like adjustable. So each of these little plates is 10. So 60 plus the handle and the little metal screws. That's probably 65, whatever. Which, that's decent. So, you know, get ready for... Some simple sets, you know, all I'm doing is going to fucking rep this shit out for as many as I feel like. So, let's fucking hit it. As many sets. Obviously, I'm just going to go for as many reps as possible per set. All right. Let's uh, let's do some other kind of variation. This time I'm gonna do just a set of the 50s, but instead of doing straight up normal reps, right, like up, down, whatever, I'm gonna go halfway up, pause it for a moment, and then finish the rep. Uh, just as a little bit of different way to do it. It's like a rest pause set. I mean, just a little bit of variation. One thing though, if you if you just can't feel your biceps firing at all, or you can't like you know, mind muscle connection style, feel it really flexing. Doing some shit like this will help you. Cause you gotta think you curl up here, whatever, but now there's no more motion, right? You're not just swinging the weight up, right? You get halfway up and then the only thing that's gonna move the weight is if you contract your bicep more. But uh, yeah, enough explanation. Let's do a couple sets of these. <clears throat> Oof. 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 
Okay. I think I'm just going to do another straight set so none of this Pogs rep action of the 50s. And then maybe get some kind of single arm movement going. All right, I lied. Two more sets of the 50s, and then I'll do some single arm stuff to finish it off. Actually, you know what? I'll do these in a different way. So, there's a couple of different ways to do curls. Obviously, we all know the fucking basics, right? Sort of alternating, you give it a little twist, you do hammer curls, which really biases your forearms. So if you want for if you want bigger forearms like the back, do some hammer curls. I feel like mine are kind of developed enough, so I never mess with them. Uh, you can do some curls where you fucking hold them uh, like with your arms turned out the whole time. Uh, one that I like though, uh, I'll do that for this set, is rather than curl like in like towards my shoulder like this way, right? I'll do some shit where I grab the dumbbells, kind of lean forward a little bit, let them hang down like this and then curl almost towards the other shoulder, right? So rather than go side to side, it's kind of like across your body. It just feels a little different. So I'll change it up like that. But Yeah, it looks a little goofy, but it felt pretty good. I'll just do a normal set for the next one. So two more sets. Oh, uh, uh, uh. all right. Fuck it. <laughs> two more sets of the fifties. I uh, I was gonna do some shit where I do like one arm curls, but honestly, I don't think it'll be any more effective. So, <laughs> two more sets of the fifties for you know ten-ish reps, and we can check the pump. <clears throat> Okay, last set. I'll do a drop set. So curl the 50s, whatever, same as normal. Drop to the 30s and just burn out. <sighs> Let's fix the lighting and check the fucking pump, man. Well, that got dark awfully quick. 
There we go. Set up some uh, some down lighting by sticking some uh, an LED strip just in one spot, sort of in a back and forth kind of motion. Because you got to like I don't know if you guys understand fucking lighting, but the best case scenario is if it's just from one like single point above you, such that you know you get this sort of shadowy effect. Makes you look way bigger than just really soft lighting. A little something to consider. But yeah, holy shit, dude. Fucking. That's a. That could, that's a considerable amount of meat. Boy. Okay, let's hit a little something here. Oh, all right, that's pretty much it for arm poses. But yeah, dude. Oh yeah, fuck, I got a tape measure. I'll just do the left side. So I, um, I measured them two arm days ago and they were 19 and three eighths. So was this pump just as good as that one? That lift was at a full fledged gym and this one was just in my basement with dumbbells and one cable. It's kind of tricky to set this shit up if it's just you. But, uh, here we go. Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Same thing. Same freaking thing. You know, I, I didn't really expect it to be different. Uh, because obviously the pump was pretty good. But you're not going to really change size over the course of a week. This shit takes a little more time than that. <sighs> but, um, yeah, so this is where all my lifting started. Well, pretty much, at least. Uh, there used to be just a, like, just the dumbbells down here, and this whole room was, like, full of just random shit. And uh, when I moved into it, because, uh, why did it? Oh yeah, so I used to share. <laughs> I used to share a room with my little brother, like we had bunk beds and shit. But you know, you kind of outgrow that after a while. So when I moved down here, uh, it was in middle school. I don't even remember. A while ago, I set up the whole little gym area. Whew. So first, it was just the dumbbells uh, and the flat bench right here, and then eventually got the whole rack behind me. <sighs> and uh, set up that cable. So that, this, uh, I've seen some comments about people who have this same rack. Like, this cable isn't really, like, an attachment you can just buy. Like, you know, this wasn't going onto Rogue's, uh, Rogue Barbell's website and buying, like, pulleys and shit. This was, this was just a trip to Home Depot, getting, like, carabiners and whatever else, and, uh, just setting it up. But, I mean, this gym's perfect for arms. Even back, because I can do heavy barbell rows and then some pull downs with the cable. But you know, home gym, it's not typically the best for. Uh, uh, well, hey, yeah, you can do a good chest workout down here too, incline bench and then some dumbbell flies. But it, I would not really want to do legs down here. I've done it before. It just ends up being, you know, squats and then I'll do some shit where I like take an elastic band and strap a dumbbell to my foot and then hang it off the bench and do like extensions like that. Or, uh, and then I'll like tie a elastic band to the rack and do hamstring curls like that, but not ideal. Obviously I want to go to a gym, use legit leg extensions and hamstring curls for that sort of shit. Whew. But this definitely saves some time today, you know, rather than driving, you know, 10, 20 minutes back and forth to the gym and then getting used to it and whatever else, you know, just having the weights right here, that makes it super easy. Or let's say, uh, oh, geez, <laughs> back when I lived here for, uh, like all year during like high school and shit, 
if I was busy for whatever reason, or I had to study a ton, or I don't know, I just had random shit to do, it would be midnight, and I had, still hadn't lifted yet. So, in my mind, I was like, all right, well, do I just go to sleep and be a fucking loser? <laughs> or do I get up and hit chest right now? And then, you know, 20 minutes later, I get a text from my dad to quit banging the weights around. But, yeah, I feel like that's probably enough of the, uh, the home gym lore. I was honestly interested in getting a, uh, like a plate loaded, uh, leg extension slash hamstring curl, but yeah, I just haven't really looked into it. I can just drive to a gym if I want to hit legs. So no need to go to the car for the dextro shake. We got it right here. So let's just fucking slam it. So I don't really mind lifting alone, you know, at the end of the day, if I'm going to the gym, the goal isn't, uh, you know, go in and see all your buddies, have fun. Like that's cool. That's sweet. That makes it enjoy more enjoyable. But the real goal is to get a good lift. So if you can kind of ingrain that in your mind, then even if you got a bunch of distractions or, you know, shit's going on around you, you'll still be able to get into the zone for your, uh, for your sets. And like, you know, it's, it's, there's no problem if you're goofing off in between, you know, as long as you don't take, uh, like 30 minutes talking to somebody. I've had that happen before. Somebody just will not stop talking. You ever do that? You're talking to somebody. Okay. Yeah. All right. You keep walking away. They're walking towards you. I wouldn't say it like pisses me off or anything. They're just, they're just, being, <laughs> they're just being chatty, but you know, part of me wants to say, Dude, just shut the fuck up. Let me work out. Oh, uh, hell. So, uh, it's only like six right now. So, I got a few more. Or not a few. I've got a, I've got some more meals to eat. And then, uh, yeah, fuck yeah. I can go to bed early. Cardio in the morning. Uh, full day of eating eventually. Uh, uh, whoops. I'm working on it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, maybe I'll even record the cardio tomorrow. Who knows, but definitely going to be a leg day video. I'll probably go back to the Metro because they have that hack squat machine that I really like. But today, arms have been fucking pumped. So I'm done. I'll see you next time. God damn it.